Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're gonna go ahead and try and find the bone matrix in Counter-Strike Source. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is open up Counter-Strike. Uh, you want to set SV cheats to 1 and very important, you want to uh, change to third person. If you don't do that, you're not going to find anything for your local player because the bone matrix is not cached or loaded uh, when you're in first person, probably for optimization reasons. So once you do that you wanna uh, open cheat engine and you wanna locate your uh, local player uh, and there's a lot of tutorials and guides out there that explain you how to do that. I have mine over here and then you wanna also locate your uh, vector position uh, more specifically you wanna know the Z coordinate of it and as a bonus point you could also find the vac view offset which is basically where your uh, eyes are in respect to your position. Uh, I just put it here so that you see that it's always 64 unless we are crouching. If we're crouching it's a little bit lower. Uh, anyways we're gonna take the baseline of 64. Then what you want to do is uh, scan for a value. So the bones that we're trying to find make up our player and we're probably interested in the head bone and the head bone is going to be located very close by uh, this coordinate this Z coordinate plus the view offset because the Z coordinates over here refer to our feet and so uh, we're simply going to scan for a value that's close to these two summed up and so uh, you want to change this one to float and then you want to do uh, value between and uh, in here you're gonna wanna type the position which is minus 15 uh, plus 64 and um, and then you're gonna wanna do more or less than 5 than that uh, so the smallest one, the lower lowest value is gonna be on the left side and the highest value is gonna be on the right side if you if you invert them you're not gonna find any anything at all so minus 15 plus plus or minus 5 is going to be um, minus 11 uh, and negative 21. Negative 21 is definitely the lowest one. So we're going to put it over here and then plus 64 because that's what we found here. So negative 21, negative 11 and first scan. We're going to find a whole bunch of results. Go back in game. You're, wanna, you're going to change your altitude by, I don't know, moving up a ladder or climbing up a box. Then you're going to do the same. So 88 um, is going to be 83 uh, without the minus plus 64. And then 93 plus 60. And you're going to hit next scan. And we already have 72 addresses here, uh, which is more than enough probably. So now what you want to do is locate. Uh, an address that it, that is interesting to you. So one way to do it is by looking at your local player uh, address and um, you're gonna see it's 37AD0800 and we know that that the bones are very likely to be close to our entity and therefore uh, let's scroll down to 37 and here we have a few of those and um, Bones are always, uh, well, the coordinates of the bones are always moving because, as you see from our model in game, uh, it's, it's wiggling a little bit. So the same thing happens over here. And what we notice right away uh, is that these addresses here, which are in the range of our entity, uh, they are changing. And, and that's actually a, a good indication that we found our uh, bone matrix. So let's go ahead and and browse the memory region of one of these. You can take probably the highest one which is likely gonna be your head um, bone. These two are both close by. It doesn't really matter honestly. So um, browse memory region. Where is it? Here. And you're, go you're gonna wanna change the values to uh, display type float and you're gonna wanna locate this see 
these numbers, they kind of look like a matrix to me. Because of these coordinates are, well, they look like coordinates. So it's something that uh, could very well be what we're looking for. So what you want to do is scroll all the way up, all the way up until you find no more uh, values that look like coordinates or that could be part of a matrix. And uh, you're going to want to note down this address here. Um, you don't need the exact an exact one. You just want to know more or less where where this matrix is, is located for the next step. So the next step is going to be opening up client DLL on IDA. And then you're going to want to locate uh, the following string. So press Alt T to search. And you're going to want to look for force bone and force bone is a network variable here we go and uh, double click that x to cross reference and we open up the first one and there we go we have an offset this offset is uh, relative to the entity and it's been known to be close to the bone matrix so we're gonna note this one apart and then we're gonna do the next step which is gonna be opening up reclass so you open up reclass and um, now get cheat engine close by here and you're gonna wanna note down the address of your player again this one here so make sure you attach to your game and then over here we're going to change to 37AD0800 which is our player and then we're going to add a bunch of bytes and uh, we're going to want to scroll down to the offset that we found over here so 560 or 560 uh, 560 here it is so right below that um, you're gonna find a couple pointers and and what you want to do is compare the address region you found here to what we see over here and understand which one is the right one and so we see right away that 37 e29 37 e29 is over here this one is kinda of far apart and if we just put our mouse over it over it we see numbers that kind of look like the matrix so I already know this is the bone matrix but if you want to verify that um, you're gonna want to change the type to a pointer over here you can change it to an array and then the array type can be changed to matrix 3 by 4 which is how uh, they're stored in source engine and then let's give it a 20 here because I, I think that there's 20 bones in CSS don't take my word for it you can search them up or I mean you can analyze the results that you get and as we scroll through them we do see coordinates in fact and the transformation matrix um, that's very good now if you want to verify that uh, well the coordinates are exact or maybe you want to find the head bone and you don't know which one of the 20 bones it is you're going to want to take the coordinates on on the right side here x y and z and draw them in game if you don't yet have a working code for an ESP what you can do is let me go ahead and find the head bone just to demonstrate that you're going to probably go through all of them but I know that the head bone is number 14 and we have these coordinates over here um, minus 869 and so on so we open up CSS and then there's a nice function that you can use which is called draw cross so we type draw cross and it's gonna take in X Y and Z so we do that minus 866 doesn't matter the precision minus 735 and 150 and as we do that and move around a little bit see the cross was drawn exactly where our head was so we have a confirmation that that's the head bone basically 
you found the pointer to the bone matrix here. Now there's another way that's a little bit faster and we're gonna go ahead and try that one. Although if you don't exactly understand how that works it might sound a little bit like ma magic and you're gonna wanna take some time to learn and understand why we fi find it that way. So let's go back to Ida and um, search for the following string it's going to be C base animating and then set up bones. So we locate that. And um, we have two matches over here. We're going to want to go for this one here. And then you scroll down. Scroll down and you want to locate something that looks like this. See, you have three offsets here, yeah. two being set to zero and one to this. And EBX in this case is our entity address or pointer, sorry, address. And, um, and this one here is your bone matrix. So 578 is exactly what we found over here, 578. So you can go ahead and use that in your code and you will be done. So thank you for watching and subscribe, like the video um, and see you next time. Goodbye.